and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to share with you today my favorite bronzers from the drugstore. I wanted to do one of these for like every single category, like foundations, the highlighters, blushes, like everything, but I haven't made a decision about the other categories yet, so I'm going to start with bronzers. And I have quite a few to share with you. This, I'll go through them all in no particular order, and I'll just talk briefly about each of these and then swatch them as well for you. So yeah, these are going to be my favorite bronzers from the drugstore. Okay, so I'm going to start with just the one that's in the front here. And this is my Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade Sun Bronze. This is one of their waterproof bronzers. I think it's around 3 or $4. This was one of the first bronzers I actually bought. Well, the second bronzer that I bought. And as you can see, I've used it a lot. I use this almost every single day last summer. It just gives you a very natural finish. It's easy to blend. Um, it is a little bit on the warm side, like from my swatch. You can probably tell it's a little bit more orange than I would actually typically go for in a bronzer, but, but it's not like overly orange or anything. It actually gives you a very natural bronzy glow to your skin. And it's just, it's cheap, it's affordable. Um, it's just a good little bronzer. To have in your collection if you're looking for one. I would highly recommend this little guy from Rimmel. So the next one I have is this one. Ugh. If I can get it out. This one is by NYC. It's one of their sun and bronze bronzers. Um, and I have this one in the shade Montauk Bronze. I don't, I think this one may be a little bit cheaper than the Rimmel one because NYC is pretty affordable at the drugstore. And this one you get kind of three different colors. You get a dark strip in the middle, two lighter strips and then two medium strips on the side. I always just mix everything together so, and once you do mix everything together, you just get a really pretty natural bronzy look. This is like a satin finish. It's not got any um, glitter or chunks of glitter in this at all, but it does not leave your face looking so matte. It definitely has some sort of sheen or glow to it, a little bit more than just a matte bronzer. I'm washing these all on my wrist because on the back of my hand, for some reason, it doesn't show up. <laughs> like the swatches don't show up, so I'm just gonna swatch them here for you. It's a little awkward though. So again, this one is a little bit more of a warm tone bronzer. It's not orange or anything, but it's definitely more warm. It has a lot of pigmentation, as you can see, but it's not overly pigmented that you have to be super careful with it. And yeah, I just use this one on a daily basis. I like it. So this one again is in the NYC Sun and Bronze Powder in the shade Montauk Bronze. I haven't quite figured out what exactly I'm supposed to be saying about each of these bronzers, but hopefully I am including all the things you would be looking for in a bronzer review. But yeah, this is like my first time going in depth on these bronzing products, so yeah. So the next one in here is the NYX Matte Bronzer. This is definitely a bronzer that I really like, but for some reason I don't use it that often. I still really like it. Not as much as I like these two, because it is a little bit more pricey, but I still do really like it. The shade Dark Tan. I like it that they included a mirror in here. That's a really nice touch from NYX, because all these ones are kind of cheapy packaging, like you just have a plastic lid, mine actually cracked. So it's pretty cheap. But I mean, they're like $3. So this one is a little bit more expensive. I'd say it's more around the $9 to $10. But it is a really, really beautiful product. The NYX bronzers are also really easy to blend. They're very smooth to the touch. And they are super duper pigmented. Like more so than the other ones. So you definitely have to be very careful with this. It's really nice if you want a straight up matte bronzer with no shimmer in it at all. I would recommend this guy from NYX because I do really, really like it. Okay, so the next one I have is a pretty recent discovery of mine, and it is the Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. It's the one that comes in the brown shimmery packaging, which is really, really pretty actually. And just like all Physician's Formula powder products, it has this little case in the back which had a brush, and then it has a mirror on the other side, and then the product right here. Most of the powder products that I own from Physicians Formula are really good, very smooth, very buttery, very creamy, and I've experienced that with like every powder product that I own from Physicians Formula, whether it's a bronzer or a highlighter. The only thing that's kind of funny about Physicians Formula is this is their darkest shade. Like this is medium to dark, and then they have one light to medium, 
And this is like not dark at all. In the summer, I don't know if I can use this because it is so, like, it's so just like pale. It's almost my skin color when I'm tanned in the summer. But because the formulation is so good, um, I'm still going to use this, especially when I can still pull it off when I'm not too tanned. But it kind of sucks with the color range of Physicians Formula. I'm not sure why they don't offer darker shades. I don't know. It gives a very natural sheen to your cheeks. It has like a little bit of glitter in it, like a very fine glitter, but it definitely, you can see it in the actual pan and when you apply it to your cheeks, it's not there. It doesn't pop up on your cheeks, but you definitely have some sort of glow. When we talk about bronzers, I kind of like it when they're not really heavily pigmented. Like just when you don't have to be careful with bronzers and you kind of just go all over your face with a, with a big fluffy brush and it doesn't make you super orange or anything. This gives you like the perfect amount of sheen. It looks a little bit cool toned in the pan, but when you apply it to your cheeks and to your skin, it comes off a little bit warmer. But yeah, it's a really great bronzer. I really love it. I'm really glad I purchased it. It is a little bit pricey in Canada, so it's around $20. So I bought it for $14 when it went on sale and Physicians Formula when it goes on sale, um, I think it's worth it, but I don't know if it'd be worth it if you were to pay 20 bucks for this. I probably wouldn't have, but if you can find it on sale, I highly recommend you pick one up. I don't even know if you can see this one in the close-up swatch of this video. It's so, so faint. Like, they definitely need to come up with darker shades in this Physicians Formula range. So I only have two left in here. This one by Milani. This is one of their baked bronzers, and I have the shade Sole. It's kind of similar packaging to the Physicians Formula one where you get a little case in the back where there was a brush and the mirrors on this side as well. This is one of my like shimmery bronzers that I have. I have two and this is one of them and this one has a beautiful finish. It's got like gold reflexes in it. You definitely see them in the pan and on your finger when you're swatching but they're really beautiful and they give you a very very glowy and bronzy uh, finish, which is really nice in the summer when you want to look glowy and bronz bronzy. So I really appreciate the gold reflex in this product. Even if you just wanted to apply a matte bronzer or a satin bronzer to start and then kind of top it with this, I think that is would also look really beautiful. It's got a lot of pigmentation to it. Glitters are really subtle and they don't show up crazy amount of like glitter on your face, which is nice. Milani really nails it with their baked product. I don't know if I mentioned it, but like all of the bronzers that I've kind of shown you so far are all really finely milled. There's nothing that is chunky or patchy or, you know, you know, doesn't show up really smooth on your cheeks. Everything, all of these bronzers have a great formula. There's, yeah, there's nothing really negative about any of these bronzers, except maybe some of the shades aren't dark enough and some of them are a little orange. But formula-wise, they're really great. They're smooth, they're buttery, they're really great bronzers. So I just have one more to share with you. This is actually the very first bronzer I own, so I have a really like strong attachment to this bronzer. And this is another one by Phys Physicians Formula. I found this one in Target when Canada still had Target, and I have never seen it since. So I don't really know if drugstores still carry this one or if it was limited edition. This is their Sexy Booster Sexy Glow Bronzer. It's got like a little shoe on it, but you know. Then you've got, you had a brush in the back here and a mirror. Of course the brush is gone, but there's a mirror back there. And this is the bronzer. So it has like a little print of a corset on it. The corset in the middle here, this little thing in the middle is where the shimmer is and then around it is like more of a satin to matte finish. My favorite thing about this bronzer is the smell. It smells like vanilla. It smells so good and I think that's why I'm so sad if it's like limited edition or something because it smells so good. Besides the smell, it is also a really great formula. I kind of stuck to the outside here, like this section here, and I strayed away from the thing in the middle because um, the corset in the middle is where all the shimmer is. And then when you do kind of mix it all together, then you get this beautiful finish that is like no chunky glitters or anything, but it definitely has a glow to it, which is just really beautiful and natural and perfect for the summertime. So I really, really like this one. And I mean, you can't really go wrong with Physicians Formula 
powder products. They're just all really great and this is no exception. So those are all of my favorite bronzers from the drugstore. I kind of got a, like, a large range of different prices and different finishes, but I think they're all equally good. I hope this video was helpful in some way and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I guess the next category that I'll do is probably blushes or highlighters, um, but I'm not sure when and which one I'll do first. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you would like to see more videos. And I guess I will see you in my next one. Bye!